and sinking in one, two. So today was supposed to be just kind of a relaxed day and work on homework and some listing photos. Uh, then we ran into this little problem here. See all that? Where's that coming from? Not a refrigerator, but up there. It's all wet and brittle. Somewhere in this bathroom, there's a leak. It's our goal today to find out where it's that coming from so we can stop it before we have to hire a plumber. Let's see what we can do. So one of the first things I checked was the, uh, the toilet. I flushed a couple times to see if I saw any water coming out from the wax ring. And that seems pretty secure. So I turned on the shower and this is one of the things I found. See a little gap there? Oh yeah. That gap right there is a water trap and it is collecting all the water. Let's see what's happening on the back side. This access panel was cut out by another plumber somewhere and uh, did some great duct tape work to fix the whole leak that was originally there. That's not what's leaking now though. If you see that drip right there, and there's another drip right down there. And that is right above the kitchen where we saw earlier with that leak. You can see all that water dripping down right now. I know this is like terrifying for some people to see, but I guarantee you we will fix this. Today's kind of like the uh, the day of the leaky leaky thing. So I'm gonna be fixing this shower here. I'm gonna show you how I do it. And also there's a couple leaks out by my chicken waterer and I want to uh, fix those leaks too because we're losing some water off our water reserves. Before I head out to the hardware store, I wanted to show you this, uh, this new listing I put up. And the power of Facebook is crazy. Um, I put this up yesterday afternoon. I think it was finally approved by Facebook. 2,400 people reached, 76 reactions, and it breaks it down to exactly where it came from, even the post clicks. Uh, we're at a total, yeah, to almost 2,400. Now, obviously this is a paid ad as well, but look at the organic versus paid. And that's just groundwork. I've been sharing it, I've been uh, commenting, I've been very active on this post. So this thing, hopefully, will be sold soon. Why are you two so lazy? Get up and eat some grass. Go mow the lawn. It's hot today, isn't it? Hey, Monty. Say hi to everybody. I'm trying to eat the cable. What are you doing? Yeah, you know, as a realtor, I get faced with people saying that they don't want to get into home ownership because they think that it's uh, too much responsibility or too much time. Honestly. I love it because it's, uh, it's forced me to get out and enjoy this beautiful day, whereas normally I'd be sitting behind a computer working on some listings. You know, I think it's interesting that so many people are afraid of buying a house because of the, the daily maintenance that comes along with it. And it's actually not that bad. It's, uh, I'd rather do it because you have more control of your own home than you do if you're renting. And honestly, anything that does go wrong, you could pretty much find it on YouTube how to fix. It's uh, pretty simple now. Just look it up, or just some keywords of what you're, uh, what's going wrong, and uh, I guarantee you'll find a how-to video out there of how to fix it. That right there, that's my favorite taco shop. That little yellow building we just passed. And of course, before any project ever happens on the Karachi Homestead, there's one stop I have to make. This is how you know you have an addiction. I have three cup holders here. Coffee, emergency, Rockstar, soon to be Starbucks, Java Chip, Frappuccino. Yes, can I get a venti Java Chip Frappuccino? This is like the highlight of every day. Starbucks coffee, <laughs> especially on a hot day. It's only 85 degrees. Hey, Texonians, Texan you know what I mean. It has been cold the last uh, this last winter and we've been pretty mild. So 85 degrees to me is it's, it's pretty hot. All 
All right, so we got a total of four items today. This is a pretty simple fix. So we have steel wool. This is to clean off the copper pipes when we pull off the, uh, the fixtures. Some silicone. Now, mind you, I didn't get the one that's in the gun, uh, the silicone gun or the, the caulking gun. This is just out of the tube. This one is uh, mold-free, water-resistant, made for bathrooms and kitchens. The other two items I got was uh, pipe tape, and I got two different types. Uh, this is just a generic brand. It's like a, you know, just less than a dollar. Uh, the guy at the store upsold me and told me I need to try this tape here, this fast tape. All in all, it came out to 12 bucks. And now mind you, that was because I got upsold on about a $3 roll instead of a $2 roll. So really it's like nine bucks worth of equipment to fix two, um, two water issues. Look at these fools. <laughs> they won't let me out. All right, here we go. So the first step, we're gonna do the chicken water real quick. It's just simple, how to use Teflon tape or pipe thread tape. Come say hi to the camera. All right guys, so this is our culprit right here. We've got our chicken waterers and unfortunately, it's leaking out of these corners. So I need to go through and put the Teflon tape in there to kind of help seal it up. All right, so we have uh, two different types of Teflon tape. This is what the handyman or the, uh, the employee told me to use. He said he likes this a lot. This is what I've always been uh, used to for pipe thread. We're not really using it for pipe thread. We're just using it to block the water so it can't flow out of these holes. So you can see I have, oh, we sprung a leak. <laughs> So this is our 55 gallon drum. And because it's been leaking, the water's been kind of flowing out pretty fast. So I just filled this up yesterday and you can see that it's already down quite a bit. Put my little quick turn off valve and I'll turn off the pressure. So normally with pipe thread, what you want to do is thread with the, uh, the thread itself. So that way when you go to turn it on or twist it on, it doesn't unravel. My goal is not necessary to stop the threads for leaking and just to plug the hole enough where it won't continue to leak. The water's back on and uh, it's holding up all right. Uh, I would recommend this cheaper 99 cent piece versus a $3 piece. <laughs> looks amazing all right i'm gonna do my best to get everything in frame and get the close-ups all in one shot so it's not that choppy so what i have is my my phone i have it hooked up to my microphone right now and uh i'll get you the close-up shots when need be so you can see what i'm doing otherwise i'm gonna keep you guys out on the farther further angle first thing you need, need is your 532 allen wrench and let me get close up here See that right there? Boom, right there. That's what you need to get into. Once it's loose enough, you should be able to turn it. I like to give it kind of like a halfway turn um, and then pull out. Now, if it doesn't pull and get it separated away, it doesn't actually pull you know, away from the wall, go ahead and at this point and loosen up the screw a little bit more. But from this point, you should be able to pull this straight off. So that is our culprit. <laughs> this is what's causing us this mess. It, Plumber should be taking this area and caulking it all the way around, but instead they left it open. There wasn't much caulking, if any. I wonder if there's ever any time they caulked it around the actual fixture. Um, but if they don't do around the fixture, then what they should be doing is around this copper pipe here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean out on the edge so we have a good clean surface to work on. And then we're gonna clean our pipe, uh, make sure our copper pipe is all nice and clean and ready to uh, receive our caulking. And then after that, we're gonna apply it and uh, put it back together. All 
All right, now that that's clean, we're gonna move on to the next step, which is cleaning our copper pipe. All right, next step is just apply the, uh, the silicone. Uh, I'm using the kitchen bathroom silicone. It is a seven year warranted for mold free and water resistant and be ready in 30 minutes. All right guys, let's talk. The plumber should have done this first and unfortunately the plumber didn't. I could call a plumber and have them come out and recut a piece and do it all professionally, which they should have done in the first place, but they didn't. And they're gonna charge me about $80 an hour if I'm lucky, if not more, uh, plus parts. All right, there you have it. I know it's not pretty, um, but I guarantee you that thing won't leak anytime soon. Um, and before this, it was just a big old hole. So I mean, I think this looks better than the big old hole where I could see into the office. Now, the thing you wanna make sure is when you slide this on, is that, see, look, there you go. Boom. It's, you're not gonna be able to see any of that silicone. So it just looks cleaner, because it doesn't have that big, goopy amount of uh, caulking around it. Um, my tip is to tighten the screw here uh, beforehand. Once it's almost tight, like one turn it away, then push it down, turn it to where it's supposed to be and tighten all the way. Okay, I got it almost all the way tight. So now I'm gonna twist it. Right to where it's supposed to set. I'm gonna give it the last turn so it doesn't fall off. Okay. That's not moving. All right, so luckily we are in a position where I have an access panel so we can see what's behind the shower. Let me go a little in depth of what we have here. So this is the overflow valve here, uh, which is that silver round piece where if it gets above to a certain level, it'll pour off. The other piece down here, that's the bottom of the drain itself. You have your cold water input, which is duct tape from the previous owner. I need to go fix that eventually. And then you got the hot air intake here, or hot air intake, sorry, the uh, cold water intake, or the hot water intake, the, the temperature gauge on the other side. And this is the bottom spigot. And then once you cap that piece off, it pushes the water up to the top, which comes out the top. Considering that I have this access, I'm gonna take advantage of it. And I'm actually gonna go in here and cock the inside here. This is overkill and this is not needed. So please don't dig a hole or make a hole in back of your wall just to get it here. But because I have access to it, I'm gonna make sure that no more water comes out this backside because it could have been a big issue in the middle of our kitchen if we hadn't caught it so early. Mind you, we, we saw that puddle pretty much right when the water started to come out of this hole. I want to thank everyone for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to be coming out with more of how to uh, fix the ideas uh, as we go. Uh, also, I want to turn this into kind of like behind the scenes of real estate and what we do on a daily basis. Uh, if you have any questions about the equipment that I use for this video, please look at the description. I'll have a link to all the, uh, all the equipment. Uh, if you have any requests or any items that you would like me to, uh, to go over, please let me know <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time.